We're over here in the Canal Side Lounge, and we're calling this a reunion. Yes, we are. This guest of ours, you, we had a lot of response when you were on the show, and I, I was, I don't know about you guys, but I was in a place in my life where I needed you, and uh, your uh-huh. message. No, seriously, and I, and, I, and I wrote a blog about it back then. His name is John Payne, and he was a movie star. Yes. <laughs> he was in a documentary called The Luckiest Man. Yes. And uh, he's in studio with us right now. Now, Mr. Payne, first of all, uh, tell our audience why you came in the first time. What was the documentary about? Oh, it was a, a book. A, sorry. I guess let's, let's start that over again. Right. <laughs> all right. I do it all well, the time. Uh, <laughs> no, it was a, a documentary about myself and ALS and my family. And its effect on my family. Yeah. And a little bit about our days have not been that dark as it is with most people with ALS. And we offered hope and uh, inspiration. And that's really what we wanted people to know, to hear, and to see demonstrated by our family. Because we don't focus on darkness. It is a part of our lives, but we prefer to look at the sun. Love it. And when were you diagnosed with ALS? September of 2000. And let's just be honest, you should not be here today. You have, you're a miracle that you're here with us today. Well, my family keeps Ho- hoping. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah, he's a rolling miracle, not a yeah. walking miracle. So, oh my God, what was, we love you, Dad. With that diagnosis, though, just so some people you know may not recognize how severe that is. What is the the average lifespan after that diagnosis? kind of diagnosis? Uh, yeah, so I'll save your breath. What's yeah, your name, young man? Uh, Oh, young man, I like you. <laughs> Big Al, you're my yes, favorite. Thank you. Uh, thank Josh you. Payne. Josh Payne. Josh Payne. Josh. You're, the old, yeah. you're the oldest son? I am not. Oh. My, wow. my brother here has significantly more gray hair than I is. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, shade. Just, uh-huh. As you can tell, the ribbing goes on with the entire family, That's, not just with He the, started it. <laughs> John started it. I haven't joined the hair club for men yet, so. Oh, oh. more shade from the older yeah. brother. Ouch. And down goes we, <laughs> we dish it out all the way across the board, so it's good. Um, so to answer your question, uh, two to five years um, normally, and it's, um, it's, it's pretty brutal. Um, ultimately, you end up like this, and that's And we're 19 years later after 19. diagnosis. Right. 19. How many years has it, it been amazing. since you were here to promote the documentary? How many years has that been since we saw your family? We were here Three? in... So, so yeah. it looks yeah. to me that you haven't, your, your, your disease hasn't progressed it seems like you you've pretty much stayed you seem about the same right yeah have you d- had any further health decline since then next subject oh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean it, it is yeah. a disease now for yeah. those of us it's, who don't it's, know. it's a progressive motor neuron disease uh, essentially it killing your brain cells and that control your motor functions and essentially all of your uh <clears throat> Um, essentially all of your muscles yeah. okay. you, you uh, deteriorate paralyzed. and it yeah. causes you to become paralyzed from the hair down. The hair down. And, oh, wow. and why do doctors think you have gone on, I mean, de- I mean, almost how many decades? 19 years. 18 years. Almost two well, decades since the diagnosis. What do they think is the reason you're still with us? Uh, I mean, primarily I, I have a slower progressing um, variant of the disease, and uh, obviously, yeah. and uh, and you know they honestly do not know, and um, I'm just thankful for yeah. what Amen. I do have, and uh, uh, I'm very thankful of been able to spend this extra time with my family and. Well, you can decide whether it is worth the trouble. It's a good thing to, or not. To, yeah, to we will. But I think, hope has an, I think hope has an impact. Sure. Yeah. And I think that when you choose to keep your eyes um, not on yourself but on others, 
and on trying to make a positive impact despite you know using what you go through to make an impact on others, I, I think that has an impact on you. And I think we're seeing living evidence of that. And it's probably changed the way all of you have lived with your own re personal relationships, right? With, with others in your life as well. Absolutely. Hillary has a personal story she'd like to share. You do, Hillary? Yeah. Uh, you have to now, Hillary. He puts Hi, baby spot. sister. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is what he's done my whole life. <laughs> That's what brothers do. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I mean, this, it, I think it's definitely one of the reasons I personally think he's still here is because God's not done with him yet. Um, and he's impacted so many people's lives um, through his story and that thankfully he's gotten to share in his book. I mean, it's an amazing story. And to know him so long ago to, and to see the man that I see before me now is not only physically different, but like inside out, just a changed man. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons he's still here today. It's definitely impacted our relationships with each other. I know me personally, it's, you know, changed how I look at life and what is the big stuff to worry about and what's not so big. Um, and to kind of let go of plans, because I make plans and God laughs at that. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's the coolest thing that you all have done as a family in the last 19 years? I mean, you're promoting a documentary, you're promoting a book, but what's like the stick out moment between, I don't know, getting to meet us? <laughs> <laughs> well, this was the first, pri yeah, this takes the cake, you know. Yeah. Um, Amanda, do you wanna take this one? Laughing and being together. Um, yeah, yeah, I think just little uh, things. Just I think the, the biggest thing has been that we we don't take time for granted. Um, so every comment that you feel like or or meaningful memory, um, you you speak it. We um, don't take uh, holidays and get-togethers for granted. We um, we make effort where I think sometimes it would be easy uh, not to um, sure. and just think, oh, well, I'll catch them next time. Mm -hmm. um, and instead, uh, we have chosen to to really make every effort to be together. Now, that being said, we didn't think we'd keep getting together <laughs> and keep coming with the birthdays yeah. and celebrations and things like that. But it just, you know, they, they just become icing on the cake. That's basically. so true. My sister sent me a text message yesterday or day before and it said something to the effect of what you just said she said do not shed a tear i hadn't seen my mom in like four or five days she lives here in town and she's up in age and she said do not shed a tear at your mother's funeral if you do not come and see her this is how my sister lays in all oh, right? if you do nice. not come and see Red. her i mean i'm not i'm not even lying i'm not even lying my mom's not sick knock on wood you know, she's maybe but, she's mad at you <laughs> <laughs> but she's and to, to your point you know don't take anything for granted, you know? I mean, you, you can't. I feel like most of us, you know, we, we can't wait for the weekend. Monday starts and we can't wait for Friday. You guys go to sleep at night and you can't wake up for the next day so that you guys could spend it with your family, which is really cool. Yeah. Now, Mr. John, you also are now an author. Mr. Payne, you wrote The Luckiest Man, uh, now the, in book form. Yes. When did you start writing this book? Well, not too long after, well, a couple of years ago. Yeah. And, uh, of course, it takes a while with no hands or legs. I mean, <laughs> so, it, you know, it took me a little longer, but you know, I'm, I use Dragon Software and dictated most all the stories, and, uh, excuse me, all of the stories and uh, most of the content, and then uh, hired a... Um, co-writer, co-author, Seth Haynes, who was brilliant and uh, really put the book together and uh, really, really weaved all the pieces together and made a true, well, garment out of it. And it was, it, it, it has uh, really received some spectacular reviews. 
Yeah. Have you guys been looking at the at the? I, I bet you guys thought he was going to call you over to type everything out, didn't you? <laughs> well, what you don't know is there was a prior version of this book where that did happen. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Where? Gosh, yeah, that's we what go. I was going to ask. Oh, How much man. approval did you get on some of the stories? Yeah. Well, there was no, so the the new version, the one that actually went to publish, <laughs> yeah. that got no reviews. So we saw it when you guys saw it. Uh, so it was a bit of a surprise uh, for us. But it, honestly, it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful in part, at least from my perspective, and others can share theirs, is that we got to see what was going on in Dad's head. Dad was really, really vulnerable in this. And, and so the father we see that's typically you know, teaching, he really just led by example and shared really what was going on in his heart in this book, which is so rare. Typically, you read a book and it's the author going, hey, here's a lesson, here's the step one, two, three, and that wasn't what he shared in here. So it was revealing even to us as kids at least it was for me. Was there something that was hard for one of y'all to read in the book? Anything that stands out that was difficult? Mom. Mom shaking um, her head. Yeah. It wasn't pooping on the living room floor story it or was, something. It was really hard for me because um, this Closer. is getting stuck in my face. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're doing it production was, work. Yeah, I love it. it was really hard for me because uh, in the book he describes how difficult day-to-day -day life is. I mean, like Kelly said, she, oh, he looks the same. He's not the yeah. same. He's so much more fragile. There's so much more care that goes in. There's so many more coughing, coughing episodes and just choking, uh, choking um, and this kind of thing. Um, so as I'm reading the book, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to hear described in detail just yeah. how difficult everything is and how painful everything is because it's it's my life yeah. that's yeah. what I'm living so that's what was hard for me so I found myself skipping some of those places where he went in more detail but I thought that it was important to have that in there so that the reader has an understanding of just how hard it is to live in his body so well, John, how... But, it, but it's not a book about dying. No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's about living. It's about living. It's yes. about living. Yes, it is. It is. Good. Um, what's the... I know your, your, your body's paralyzed, but as, as, as far as touch goes, can you feel? Can you... Everything... You could still feel sensations? Yes. I, I can feel everything. As a matter of fact, I sometimes wished my spinal column yeah. uh, had been severed, and spinal cord, and because I couldn't feel then, but I... I'm actually a little bit hyper uh, sensitive to the feel, yeah. to feelings, so that as I'm strapped to this chair, I really do feel all the creases in the pants or the chair and that everything. Your back uh, and from sitting too long. Everything. Is, itching. Uh, yeah. Oh, all gosh, those things. That must be the worst, oh, right? Oh, yeah. The little things yeah. we take for granted. Oh, is, yeah. When a, when a mosquito crawls across your face or a fly or. Something goes in your, your, oh, well, let's not talk about that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can feel all those. Guess what I did, did learn? If a bug crawls in your ear, it'll crawl out. <laughs> How about that? Eventually. Yes. Oh, well, it's just crazy oh, stuff. Hilarious. It's just crazy stuff. That's things you don't really think about. But anyways, but my family does. Which is you your favorite see. child? Oh. <laughs> I, I guess it's good that I have the microphone because <laughs> I'm de right <laughs> definitely. Um, to answer your question from earlier, I think the thing that I like the most about the book is I get to see inside what was going on with my dad when he went through this journey where uh, he was forced to make a decision about what really matters in life and how am I going to survive and how am I going to keep going. And that's an internal question we have to answer. And I think all of us are probably asking that two o'clock in the morning, sleepless nights or whatever. And we just can't, we find distractions and we just keep going. And uh, he didn't. And he kind of tells the story of how that happened. And it was, it was beautiful for me to hear what my dad was thinking about, like Josh said. But it was an encouragement to me that it's worth it. Press into it. I know it's uncomfortable, but keep going because... Um, the things that matter in life are they're really important and they're worth going through the pain of solving. Yeah, I mean, it's it. I love how you said that, bro, because it's it really is our vulnerability that connects us, not our strengths. Yeah. But we don't learn that, right? right. We learn that oh, people are going to be attracted because you won this award, you, you're the CEO title, and it's not. It's that humanity, it's that vulnerability, and that's what connects us. And Dad does a great job articulating that. In the book, uh, it's about relational intimacy. What's that? What's that mean? 
relational intimacy. Well, I mean, real, just a well, It's clearly not physical intimacy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 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 love you. I love you. Shade. Oh, oh, take it from me. Shade. We tell you oh to each other like a family does. Oh, my God. Oh, we can edit it out. It's cool. <laughs> What's that mean to you, John? Well, me, well, wrapping up. <laughs> well, just think about it this way. The number one thing that we as humans have is connection. Yeah. And, and without it, we're in big trouble. It's the way we, we actually um, find purpose, satisfaction in life. And so we desperately are in need of connection in this book subscripted is how my 18 year battle with ALS led me to intimacy with God and uh, something that I had always longed for but the reality is is the journey healthy discover intimacy with not only God but myself my, and my family and with others and Quite frankly, I've been surprised at, at how hot of a topic is proven to be. I think it's so wonderful, too, because in our society, I think a lot of people, especially with men, they equate vulnerability to weakness, and that can impede so many healthy relationships, oh. right? Because if men, you can be strong and be vulnerable, and I think you're a perfect example of that. Well, you cannot, I mean, vulnerability is you have to have courage to get there. Just think about this. We don't have selective emotions. We don't get to do that. And when we, when we wall off uh, bad emotions or the ones that we think are bad, like sorrow and sadness, hurt and pain, when we try to wall those off, we automatically are walling off the good emotions. We wall off joy. We wall off love. Okay. Well, this whole thing could not happen to a better family. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying here, because mm -hmm. y'all teach me. I feel I feel better when I'm just in a room with you. Feel the it, you family. feel it when we walk when, we, when you walk in the room with your family with the pain. Yeah, family, you feel it. You really do feel the happiness, considering what you guys have been going through the last 19, 18 years. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I really, you really do feel it. I feel like you guys. You can tell you guys love each other. Generally, when I'm sure it hasn't always <laughs> been. I'm sure this isn't hasn't always been the case though. Like you now, get to yeah, that yeah, point, yeah, right? No. You know, one of the great examples of relationship intimacy that we've experienced actually uh, was demonstrated by our teenage boys when they were talking about the book. Uh -huh. They said it would have been really cool to get to spend time with our pa doing activities and fun things, but he couldn't move in our lifetime. But what we got out of it instead was fabulous quality time with him, talking and hearing stories and getting to yeah. share our hearts. And, and most people don't get that. And I thought, what a great example for us just to all think upon. Mm -hmm. I got to go call my mom. Oh, really not. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's funny. <laughs> it's, when, when you do lose, lose somebody you love so much, a lot of the times you start thinking, man, I wish I would have had more in-depth conversations with yeah, them. Sure. I wish I would have. I know I got to spend time. Minutes. I was in the same room with them all these years, but I wish I would have asked more questions, gotten more stories. So you're setting a great example with that, John. One thing, um, I, uh, I was the one person he did have to ask permission about. But you can read more about that in the book. Mm -hmm. um, good tell, good, good, good tell. I like that. Like how I did that? Uh -huh. I just thought of it. We call that a major market <laughs> tease right there. Um, no, but um, because, I mean, and they've talked about it for Josh and John have with how buttoned up he was, and you wouldn't really get to hear. Uh, he never would have shared any of this. Sure, right. This is a blessing. I mean, it's the weirdest thing to say it's a blessing, but it truly is because I honestly, and I had to tell him this with my head hung, I read it, um, started reading the book to fall asleep. Oh my God. Oh, dad. I know. Well, books do that, John. I, I know. Gotta, we could edit but, that out. Too. Yeah, you can. So, <laughs> I went from a good sales pitch, not a good yeah. sales pitch. <laughs> Hard right turn, Hillary. Hard right uh, okay, turn. Okay, I've got a, I've got a right turn here. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Or, or, or veer, we're going to yeah. veer back on. going to go okay. back on road? Bring it back. Um, but I read this book. I read over half of it in one sitting. Uh -huh. Didn't ever take my nap. Okay. And then I read the second 
part of it the next day. Like, the whole thing. Put it down. Could not put this thing down. Because I got to know my dad. And what a great example for him to show us as his kids to be vulnerable and show strength in that. To make you... I was going to say, so if you saw the documentary and now you're reading the book, it's really a completely different experience. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, if you, so don't let, if you've seen yeah. the documentary, I don't need the book. This is a different. I would say the documentary is more of an introduction to John and his family and ALS and the start of the battle. And this is more of an in depth. It goes where the documentary didn't yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. This yes. is inside yes. of John's yes. heart. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So, documentary, book, what's next? <laughs> hey, any more plans, John? Yeah, always. Uh, I, I, I can look at him and tell you. Do you have a bucket list? You still need to have some things checked off of? Well, I want to write another book, Yeah, mm -hmm. probably. Would that have uh, anything to do with ALS or something completely different? Oh, like no, it'll probably be um, more of a how-to, a little bit more of a how-to, and uh, uh, relative to uh, uh, achieving relational intimacy. Pop, if I, I can do it, you can do it, John. Can, can I just say, Dad, we were, we were on a trajectory like every family, and, and our path was very much, you know, people would have said, you guys are blessed. It's great. You have a dad that's a role model. He's a good, he's a good dude, yeah. and, and he's teaching you how to be successful, right? Mm -hmm. Successful, successful. Don't quit. Never stop. Uh, excellence, that's the standard. It was really perfectionism, but like, that was our path. That was our trajectory, and everyone would have said, you're blessed. And, and Pop, because you were willing to be changed by your circumstances, we're on a different path. We're on a path to authenticity and humility. We're on a, you, you've given us a legacy, Pop, that we can pass on. And I just want to take this opportunity on behalf of all of us kiddos to say thank you. We love you. And we honor you. Wow. Uh, now like now who's too. your favorite? I want to take this opportunity. Wow. 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 Now I'd like to ask that question yeah. again. I want, to, I want to apologize to Kid Nation for not issuing a mascara alert. I, yeah. guess. All I, was, right. I know we're going to cry after that. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Um, where can we get the book, John? Where's the best place to go get this? You know, I mean, you, literally any place books are sold. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, it's online, it, it's, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. It, it, it's everywhere. Barnes uh, and Noble. But, uh, yes. Barnes and Nobles. I went to Barnes and Nobles on the day it was released. You did? Went up, yeah, and just to uh, see it on the shelf. And, uh, that, that was a really big thrill for mm -hmm. me. The title of the book is the same as the documentary, The Luckiest Man. But completely yes. different than the documentary. Absolutely. So yeah. I suggest mm -hmm. watch, yes. watching it and reading I, yes. both because you're, you're an exceptional man. And, or you can go to johnrpain.com. Johnrpain. Johnrpain.com. Yeah. John Payne is spelled with an E on the end. Mr. Payne, it's such a pleasure to see you again. Thank you so much for coming out here and bringing your beautiful family along. Thank you for having us. We'll see we, you again on your next book. See you again. Well, yeah. Thank or you screenplay. So much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. parties and everything, too, man. We're down. Right? <laughs> Blessings to you all. Blessings, Blessings to you. God bless you and your family.